Police raced to an area near Wake Forest and Six Forks Road just before 5 a.m. to a report of shots fired. That's where they found a man with some serious injuries. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live. And Mariah, this may have happened before sunrise, but traffic was tied up for hours. Police blocked this intersection for multiple hours. We did reach out to multiple businesses as well who tell me this violence is getting too close. A tense and busy morning for Raleigh police you hear her? working at the intersection of Six Forks and Wake Forest Roads where a white Mercedes sits sprayed with bullet holes. This wasn't blocked off yet, but there are cops all down here. Judy Femia told me she was just getting to work around 5 in the morning. It's very quiet. There's not a lot of traffic. Usually at least there's cars going back and forth. Officers say it's where they found a man who had been shot. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital with serious injuries. Employees at nearby businesses are frustrated and concerned, saying it's not the first time something like this has happened in this area. I think a shooting that happened not too long ago, they had blocked off the road over here, like the intersection as well. Jahali Guevara, who works at Star Tobacco, remembers an incident that happened back in March when two men were shot near Wake Forest and Hodges Street. It's also not far from where police responded to six teens, ages 12 to 17, all shot at a nightclub in August. And that nightclub, just near the G-Loft, where law enforcement agents arrested seven people and seized guns, alcohol, and drugs after a series of 911 calls related to multiple shootings, homicides, and illegal activity. Overall, it is a safe neighborhood. It's just, I constantly think about my safety. It kind of makes you think like... Hey, are people going to come now? These employees say it's not just a safety concern, it's their business too. It's right there. From my walk-ins, they, oh, they ain't shooting that way. I'm not going down that way today. You know, so it's the, we don't need that. Employees say they're not sure what the solution is, but they do tell me that many of these businesses are having conversations to make sure that their staff continue to be safe. In Raleigh, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, thank you, Mariah.